going on to you virgos out here so you have the king of swords the three of pentacles and you virgos have the four of wands so you virgos have somebody that's into you that's trying to get your attention that you see but you or i should say you are around they know you you know them but you don't care because you honestly see them like a problem a disaster waiting to happen for yourself and you you virgos excuse me you're not gonna allow these people to get close to you romantically like that because you see them as a liability truth you you just do you see them as a liability because you've already seen some things about them that would be concerning for anybody that would be in a relationship with them and then you have the king of cups and the, and the nine of cups number one the fact that they ignore their flaws and that instead of them working on it they're sitting up there ignoring it that in on itself is a huge problem because it means that they lack accountability they lack personal responsibility which means that if you get into a relationship with them if they were to start pulling this type of nonsense they i'm telling you they're gonna they're gonna look i've always disliked that look but they but they looking stupid with that stupid look on their face you know the stupid smirk they they up to something they they let me say what it is they up to something stupid they on stupidity they game plan and they got the smirk on their face they think they want something it's funny how it is that stupid people have the this 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 chagrin on their face right they got the smile on their face they doing stupid stuff and you like yo what is wrong with you are you remedial they got the smirk up. What are they winning with that? They're not winning any kind of Nobel Peace Prize. They're not nothing. That winning, wasting time. And and they, I've won something. Yeah, you wasted your own time, idiot. That's how they are. And you Virgos can see that from a mile away, like. These people don't take life seriously enough. They're the type of people, they're the type of people to to let their life just tick away and they not actually accomplish anything. And then they want to talk about how they get started. They want to get started just now, go out and get a job or find something to do at 50. And so the five of wands now is about how you Virgos are in a different speed. That's not who you are, right? Um, you take life a little bit more seriously. You understand that there's consequences to it. And you Virgos may understand that, you know, leaving something behind for another generation, right, is important to you. So having that legacy, having that family unit is important and the things that the temperance and the eight of swords this is another reason too why you virgos just don't have the time anymore to waste time arguing with people being upset right trying to get revenge right um or being wrathful this is more so the temperance you're showing mercy you're allowing people to really part of that mercy is is being compassionate right a lot of times people think being compassionate is is hot and it's like no being compassionate is not necessarily cold but being the true compassion is actually being cool right not cold not warm hot cool that's what it is it's being cool in the sense of it's it's lukewarm it's it's both in a sense that like you you may care for them but at the same time you're willing to let that you're willing to let it go now when it comes to yourself and this other individual right that's trying to show you that they like you you virgos understand what type of time it is already y'all lived long enough to know what type of time it is you know love today is whack love today is garbage because people are broken
you know <laughs> people are broken and I was going to say something, but never mind, right? People are broken. And and the thing is, is that with them being broken, they're coming to you with it. And the difference is, is that you Virgos are learning how to become better, way better at staying away from people's brokenness. Um, and that even though you are the ones that would have normally in the past 10 years ago, um, you know, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, 15 years ago, you Virgos would have been the one to, because you're the healer, right? Y'all are like the nurse or the doctor of the zodiac signs, right? You would have, you would have been the one to, like from a hospital, pick them up, right? Bring them inside and try to see if you can heal them back to health, right? You can, and all this stuff, love them back to health. And it just, it, it, it wouldn't work. It, it just for you it just wouldn't be a thing and hold on a second sorry about that but yeah um you would have nursed them back to health. But you realize, but the thing is that the difference is, is that you Virgos are learning to do that, but do that in a way that works for you, where it's you give them a little bit of, I guess, compassion or love or, okay, let's say it, you give them a little bit of love and you, and you, and you nurse them, right? Or you doctor them a little bit, but then you send them on their way. And then the rest of the healing process is up to them because the Eight of Swords represents you're you're becoming much more in tune to your own self and your own spirituality. You have a, a better direction. You realize in that the thing that you Virgos have been doing wrong for a very long time, which would get you into a lot of messed up situations, is that you're trying to nurse dysfunctional people. And you can't do that because they're going to stay dysfunctional. They want to stay dysfunctional. So there's nothing that you can ultimately do to get them out of that. That's something that they have to, right? On the one hand, they have to do for themselves. On the one hand, they have to have an opportunity. But when an opportunity to do better is there, will they take it? Will they will they take the opportunity? That is the balancing act that you have that you Virgos have had to learn through experiences to understand right so the world now in the seven of swords and because of this you have to you you as a as a result learning your lessons you had to learn to to watch out for yourself and take care of yourself and put up boundaries because people will overstep a lot of boundaries with you intentionally right stupidly right or, or, or stupidly i should say where you know they they don't they're so stupid they're again running game you know they're playing with you they you know got the stupid look on their face you know like they like like they don't you know what i'm saying i was about to say something but they got the stupid look on their face and for you virgos it's just like okay you can you can hang around them but you not hanging around them like that you may know them because you Virgos know a lot of people, right? You just happen to interact with a lot of people, but you're not hanging around them. These are not people that you're actually calling them your friends, the people that you actually associate with. They're not your real group. I think a lot of us Virgos are misfits. I think a lot of us Virgos don't really, you know, unless it's like family, because I was fortunate enough to be born into my own group where I, you know, I have a family or whatnot, for the most part, and it's gotten better over the years, right? But for the most part, I don't have friends. I don't have a social circle 
And, you know, maybe somebody may want to clown me for that. It is what it is. I ain't tripping off that, right? Shrugs my shoulders, right? It is what it is. But the point that I'm trying to make here with that is, is that, you know, any kind of love, whether it's romance, whether it is friendship, whether it is, you know, family members, it comes very difficult. It shows up very difficult. It's not, it's not ideal. It's not something where it's, you know, the two of us can grow. You know, it's always got to be how people show love. They got to throw little jabs and do all of that, all this types of goofy stuff. Everybody is broken, right? When you, you know, for you Virgos, because that's the truth. Like the truth is, the truth is this. The truth is, is that there's really nothing wrong a lot of the times with you Virgos. Like unless you were Virgo, that's consistently doing the lying and the, and, the, and the stealing and the cheating on people that you're in relationships and stuff like this with if you're a virgo that's like the scout i'm just taking what other people saying deciphering it if you're a virgo that's like the scout the type of person that wants to do the right thing i'm gonna tell you this right and this is something that i've learned with years of experience and this is something that i really wanted to say but i haven't had a chance to actually say it yet up until now there's nothing wrong with you for you Virgos who live that way, you on the scout type stuff and you want to do things the right way, there's nothing really wrong with you. The thing is, is that for you Virgos, you just have to learn to understand that there's a lot of people who honestly, if I'm really going to go there, they're broken because that's what it is. They're broken. These it's, it, it never seems to work out for you because think about it. They're broken. It's always some stuff where they they can again this this has way more to do than just looks. It always is about they have huge deal breakers. They they with you know what I'm saying? They thing, they cool, they your age, they may be a year younger than you. I knew somebody who who, you know what I'm saying, who I was looking at, but I had to stop looking at the person. Poor mentality poor attitude, smoked a pack of cigarettes a day, was with a child already, right? And we're like 15, 16. We're, we're in the age of 15, 16. So, so it's like, it's like, or someone that looks to, to be on point. Okay, an emergency room nurse. Okay, messed up in the head. Likes to play games. And it's you looking at this thing and you're like, okay, Everybody across the board is broken. Nobody, I, I'm going to say what it is. Nobody wants to be healthy. These are patients that are wounded, that you are trying to do your endeavor best to heal and then send back out their emergency room like a hospital for, and to, for them to continue the healing process on their own, right? For them to take some form of accountability for their own healing and what happens. And then, right, what happens? They want to essentially wound themselves or continue to, to live the reckless lifestyle. And then they bring their goofy behinds back into the emergency room like, a, like, an, like an analogy for a hospital again, for us Virgos to heal them again. They're not learning from their mistakes. When they, when they come to you, they're just as broken as ever, but they expect you to fix them and stuff like this. And then now as Virgos, right, we're looking for a significant other, but we're looking for a significant other where the significant other is looking at us to financially take care of them because they're too intellectually and, and physically lazy to actually doing it, do anything. They want to sit back and kick their feet up. And like, this is sad. This is terrible. Like, this is garbage. Like, what kind of a dating pool is this? They want you to, 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 to do the, they want you to work 40, 50, 60 hours a week, 80 hours a week to support two people when you can just dump this person and you can keep doing overtime and working 80 hours a week or, or, or five double shifts a week and all this other type of stuff and accumulate that money and put it into a stock that pays dividends that way you don't have to trade your time for money anymore like that like 
You know, these people want you Virgos to, to, to like, this is what's out. Like, this is, I'm a Virgo myself. And I'm, and I'm saying, and I'm going to shuffle up these cards and give you the rest of the reading. But I understand it. And this is, and, and I hope you two don't hit me for this, but I understand the pain of it as a Virgo myself. People don't understand the pain of what it is being a Virgo, unless you're a Pisces. People don't really understand the pain. This thing is painful, fam. People that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I should share some of my own in a in a healthy way to like some people, to see some, some people that I may want to hang out with, but then they think that they too good. Right? Like, it's always a mismatch because so many people are striving to be as broken as possible and they and and anytime you're like you may want to heal because you virgos are healing that's the thing that a lot of people don't get that everybody that a lot of virgos don't obviously we don't talk a lot about what's going on us as virgos we're striving to actually heal ourselves we we deal with health right so how are you going to be a doctor and be unhealthy you, you dig what I'm saying? So us as us as as the proverbial, right, analogous, right, the analogy, us as the doctor, right, the person who is health conscious and all of that, we don't we're not just health conscious physically, we're health conscious spiritually and mentally and emotionally. And it's like you could see that everybody is not caught up with this. Everybody wants to have love, but they're not trying to be healthy they're not health conscious themselves they want to be sick they want to be sickly individuals right like a common cold so to speak right nose running sniffles they want to be sickly individuals but then at the same time they want healthy relationships i done seen so many people put so many different things in front of me i done walked away from potential relationships because I know how to sacrifice because I understand and I quietly quit it because I understood that this thing is more important than me. So the honorable thing to do, the most honorable thing to do is to politely and humbly bow out. <laughs> and then now got the audacity then now plenty of people are up in arms talking about why is it that I'm so bored when it comes to dating and relationships. How many of you Virgos are bored when it comes to dating and relationships? Let me know in the comment section if you're bored yourself because it's boring. It's boring to see a bunch of, again, sick or broken people walking around the infirmary, so to speak, right? The, you know, the analogous hospital walking around and stuff like this broken some people are in wheelchair other people they don't want to become healthy they come up with excuses but then they want relationships how you want a relationship with somebody but then at the same time the person is doing what they're supposed to be doing the person is supposed to hold you to a certain standard and then Every time the person is doing that, you coming up with excuses for it. Oh, you Virgos want me to be perfect. Yes, that's the whole point of a relationship is to help you get to perfection. What are you doing in a relationship if you're not striving to get better? Bum, you going to sit on the couch all day and eat Cheetos? Anytime Virgos make these people feel uncomfortable because, yeah, you have to self-improve. That's the point of a relationship. Them times when you see people last in relationships and the relationship lasts for years on end all the way up until someone passes away. You think these people aren't in a constant pursuit of self-discovery? These people are constantly finding out who they are every single freaking day. That's the point, stupid. But then you got a bunch of people now who make up excuses for, 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 oh, nah, I don't know what you're talking about. You goofy. Just stay your goofy ass out of the situation then. Because you goofy. You not really looking for love, goofball. You 
You want to be in a circle jerk. Say it. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. You have the Five of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and then you have the uh, Seven of Pentacles to clarify the Seven of Swords. The Five of Swords, the Ten of Cups, right? After dissing you, Virgos, right? And being upset with you, right? For trying to to heal them to a certain point and then it's up to their responsibility what is it that you you gain in return they proverb they proverbially spit in your face it's on a spiritual level and then now you virgos got to be the ones to be like that's what it is that you getting you trying your hardest and then all they can do is treat you like garbage and that and 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 that's and 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 they're coming up with excuses why, but there are no excuses why. They're just goofy. And then now you have the three of pentacles and the four of pentacles, which which represents, and that's the problem. You Virgos aren't putting, you're not dispo, you're not exposing yourself. You're not putting yourselves in the in this type of scenarios anymore. And the seven of pentacles represents you're paying attention to your own business. And then, like I said, this is what a lot of people can't handle. They're going to have to actually heal from the stupidity, but they don't want to come up on out of it. This is why there's a, a statistic by 2030, a lot of people are going to be single and childless because they don't want to come up on out of the stupidity. They don't want to come up on out of the brokenness. Well, now they're going to now they're being in a situation where they're going to be forced to. Now you're going to have to be healthy and actually do the work or you get nothing. Those are your two choices. And you have a choice. Choose which one you want. So that's it, Virgos. You know, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Try to make my YouTube channel grow to 100K subscribers. Look, I'm at 14,479 subs. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell. Set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. And come through and get the reading so I can most definitely keep the show going.